grass can be accessed at grass-system.org. Once on the website, you will find comprehensive information about environmental and social sustainability. Grass is your easy-to-use one-stop solution provider for assessments of agricultural and forestry activities. Grass was developed with support from the German Federal Ministry of Food and Agriculture through its Agency for Renewable Resources FNR. Grass is the result of a multidisciplinary team effort with partners from different regions bringing complementary expert knowledge to the undertaking. Information on relevant aspects of sustainability is provided online. Sources, type of data and the methodology of how data was assessed and processed is transparently documented on the website. You can find information about which global, national and regional databases on biodiversity are available for assessments. Existing carbon stock maps have been surveyed and where necessary the GRASS team created its own carbon stock maps based on reliable methodologies. The visualization of land use change activities is one of the most powerful features GRASS has to offer. GRASS uses images from different satellite sensors. MODIS satellite signals are processed to generate the so-called Enhanced Vegetation Index EVI. The EVI is an indicator for the greenness of an area. The higher the value, the more green or the more canopy cover an area contains. Over time, typical patterns get visible. Based on the gained experience during the development of grass and by ground truthing with farmers and plantation operations, it was possible to determine typical EVI patterns for different land use and regions. In the first years of the shown example, only very slight oscillations due to seasonal changes are visible, typically indicating forest. In 2009, the pattern changes significantly. The seasonal oscillations increase, clearly indicating the fast growing of an agricultural crop and the decline indicating harvest. An EVI signal below 0.2 is typical for bare soil. In this case, the arable land during winter time. Thus, the date of land use change can be clearly identified with the change of pattern in the EVI signal. Grass shows a compilation of recognized indices relevant for social sustainability on a national level. All databases displayed in the map tool are listed and further background information on sources and content can be looked up easily. By creating an account on grass-system.org, you have the full range of features at your disposal. In the Maps category, you can choose your country of interest, for example Brazil. Searching for a specific address or region is easy. Now you can create a case with the case wizard. In the first step, you provide information like names and addresses. You can then optionally upload geographical boundaries of sourcing areas or individual plantations or fields that you are interested in analysing. The file format is the common Keyhole Markup Language or KML files well known from other applications such as Google Earth. This step is optional. You can still conduct a grass analysis if this data is not available. In the next step, you can choose the centre point of your grass assessment area. In our example, the centre point is a country elevator that retrieves agricultural crops from supplying farms. The size of the assessment area is defined by the maximum distance of the supplying farms. In our case, a radius of 50 kilometres is set. In the last step, an overview of the information entered is provided. By confirming the inputs, the GRASS tool starts to create the case and compiles all necessary information in the background. After the case creation, you can browse through all the databases available. In the category Biodiversity, you can access a variety of biodiversity data. Additional individual information is provided through the I buttons or can be clicked on directly on the respective layer of the map. 
As an additional service, Grass has evaluated all biodiversity databases and categorized their contents into so-called no-go areas and risk areas. They determine whether agricultural management for the production of sustainable biomass is generally possible or not. Risk areas display biodiversity areas where agricultural management might be subject to certain limitations. In the carbon stock category, a map of carbon contents is provided. Red areas indicate high carbon stock content. Amounts are given in tons of carbon per hectare. Grass displays a compilation of recognized indices relevant for the sustainability on a national level. The land use change map now indicates land use change activities after January 2008. The GRASC algorithm shows areas being deforested and converted into cropland. The indication provided on the map is confirmed by the EVI algorithm developed by GRASC. The EVI signal in the first field is constant with a few oscillations in the first years. It suddenly changes the pattern into steep annual amplitudes clearly indicating agricultural land use. Thus, the change in the pattern of the signal clearly shows a land use change in June 2009. A similar situation is shown in the second field of our case example. Again, a stable EVI signal, typical for continuous tree canopy cover, changes into an agricultural pattern in the summer of 2009. The third field shows no indication of recent land use change and the EVI signals confirm a pure agricultural pattern ever since 2000 with high oscillations showing fast crop growth, harvest events and bare soil during the winter. The EVI signal even shows two double cropping seasons in the year of 2009 and 2010. Field number four is a combination of obvious forest and a corner of a crop field. As demonstrated, the EVI is capable of distinguishing between the two different managements. Field number five is an example of a typical forest with low oscillations. No changes over the years can be identified. As an additional service, all sustainability information shown individually in the map tool is automatically compiled in a report that you can access through the menu on the right. The report can be printed directly or saved as a PDF. All relevant aspects on biodiversity, carbon stock, land use change and social indices are briefly reported on and their contribution is provided in the assessment area. At the end, an overall sustainability index is calculated from these different topics. It provides implications for a transparent risk classification. Now create your own case. Go ahead, visit grass-system.org.